Prince Harry revealed in a recent interview with Good Morning America that he was considering U.S. citizenship having lived there for the past four years. Trending related articles Prince Harry's revelation he had considered becoming a U.S. citizen has sparked widespread speculation about the potential implications for his royal titles. During the Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025's one year to go celebration in Canada, the Duke of Sussex spoke to Good Morning America and discussed his life in California where he and Meghan Markle relocated. After stepping back as working members of the royal family in 2020. When asked about his thoughts on becoming a U.S. citizen, Prince Harry admitted, American citizenship is a thought that has crossed my mind but certainly not something that is a high priority for me right now. Despite expressing admiration for life in the U.S., Prince Harry stopped short of feeling fully American, stating, Do I feel American? Um, no. I don't know how I feel. For all the latest on news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to Daily Express You read more, Harry's U.S. visa row explained as he prepares for court battle on Friday Prince Harry's current visa may already be in a precarious situation, as a U.S. think tank recently demanded access to Prince Harry's immigration records from the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, to investigate whether he disclosed any history of drug use during his visa application process. This request follows Harry's candid revelations about his past experiences with drugs in his memoir, Spare. Should Prince Harry decide to move forward with the process of becoming a U.S. citizen, he may also face the prospect of relinquishing his royal titles, according to the Policy Manual of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. The policy stipulates that any applicant holding titles of heredity or positions of nobility in a foreign state must renounce these titles as part of the naturalization process. Alphonse Provinciano, an attorney at U.S. law firm Provinciano Associates, Explain to people that while the law requires renunciation of foreign titles, it could potentially be challenged under the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Don't miss, Prince Harry and Meghan miss the first step in making amends, says expert. Exclusive Prince Harry's TV interview was likely pre arranged, says PR and royal expert. Comments Meghan Markle had a fundamental misunderstanding on how the late Queen worked. Opinion he said, it's a law stated by Congress, and all the Constitution says is Congress can't confer foreign titles. But it doesn't say anything about being a foreign citizen, or, having a title when you become a U.S. citizen. I think Terry's actually a challenge to this under the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment because it treats people differently. The situation becomes further complicated when considering Meghan Markle and their children's titles. Despite being born in California, their daughter, Princess Lilibet, and son, Prince Archie, were bestowed with royal titles in the UK. Meghan and Prince Harry have since adopted these titles as their children's last names, raising questions about the potential impact on their status should Prince Harry pursue US citizenship.